it's been said that pets can provide the best comfort. That seems to be the case at the Children's Hospital of Minnesota, where patients got visits from some furry friends. As John Lauritsen reports, those friends also provided, proved to be good listeners. I looked at him in surprise. Every once in a while, a new friend comes into your life. Chip merely wagged his tail. For some kids at Children's Hospital of Minnesota, he was very happy that new friend is turning out to be a pretty good listener. They generally love her. Yes, yes, we all do. Disco is nine-year-old Natalie Shimp's new reading buddy. He was a bit surprised. As a therapy dog, Disco's goal is to help Natalie feel better. As they watch these dog work. It's part of a program called Animal Ambassadors, made possible through the Golden Valley Humane Society. Animal Ambassadors help sick children get through the hardest battles of their young lives. I think she's pretty looking cute and lovable. Eight-year-old Tyler Stolp has also made a new friend in Savvy. He has neuroblastoma relapse. Um, he's actually in here right now. He just has a little counts and a fever after his chemo and um, just kind of recovering. She's sweet, isn't she? And as Tyler recovers, Savvy, look. Savvy and her owner Holly Dundor are there yeah. to keep him company. I don't know who enjoys it more, the kids, the dog, or myself. It's very rewarding. For children struggling just to live a regular life. Oh, yeah, you can hug her. She likes that. Every little pick-me-up matters. Good girl. It's good timing for Tyler. Savvy, right there. Who misses his cats back at home. Misty the Lucy. Hey. Lucy's lovable, Mystique's only lovable to my mom. But at least for one day, Savvy is there to help fill that void. It's a great thing for everyone involved. Everybody's a winner here. With noses outstretched. In Minneapolis, John Lortzen, 12 News.